The Chamber of Petroleum Consumers Ghana has given fuel depots a February 7 deadline to comply with the National Petroleum Authority's directive to deliver petroleum products at 20 degrees Celsius to dealers or be dragged to the law courts. Now, Executive Secretary of COPEC, Duncan Amwa, noted the non-compliance means losses are being passed on to dealers who in turn pass them on to transporters and tanker drivers. The NPA must ensure that its own instructions are followed or carried out by these depots. Anything other than that will be forced to uh, drag all of them like we have indicated earlier to appear before the law courts. We are hoping that the dialogue that we have commenced with some of them would yield. If it doesn't, by close of this week, I'm sure that all of them will have to answer in the court of law why they should continuously flout the NPA laws control manual. The NPA gave fuel depots January 1 to deliver petroleum products to oil marketing companies, but they have refused to comply to load fuel tankers at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. It's been almost a month since the depots were instructed to adjust or convert whatever fuel they load to the standard 20 degrees for Ghanaian retailers. Unfortunately, as I speak to you now, our checks indicate they are not complying. They are not complying simply because they seem to be making a lot of gains and profits every single day. And these profits that they make, it goes against somebody in the value chain. In the same space, the depots are able to supply the mines at 15 degrees. Yet the NPA is saying do 20 degrees for the retailers, which I think is a compromise, you know, agreement. Transporters and tanker drivers bear the brunt of the losses due to temperature variations. COPEC noted it is unacceptable for the losses arising out of temperature variations to be passed on to final consumers. Whatever gains that they make of these dealers or retailers, we are saying that they should not continue to squeeze them out of business and put pressure on these retailers or the fuel stations who would end up in the end, if they are not strong people uh, would end up pass it on to the consumer. So we say we are interested in this matter. They should ensure the right things are done uh, today, tomorrow. The depots are delivering at above 33 degrees Celsius, passing on the losses to dealers, transporters and tanker drivers.